to remove this headlight assembly because this uh, daytime running bulb is stuck in there you cannot take it out it's right there so pretty much had to undo the bumper and a couple of stuff grill so only now I was able to remove this daytime running bulb with these needle nose these needle nose I was able to take this out Bulb. This, this one is going to go back the same way, twist in. This is the bolt for the bumper. I also loosened this one, I have to put it back. Everything back now. Alright. I'm gonna test this thing now. See how everything works. So daytime running bulbs are working now. If I turn this on, both headlights should light up. And they do. That's what I used. Okay, so yeah, that was it. For the daytime running bulb, it sucked because I had to remove a, uh, the inner, actually the whole headlight assembly because otherwise I couldn't remove the thing, the bulb, it was really stuck in there. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a good idea to get the garage. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty high, like a bulb. Okay, so I've used all of those discs, and uh, this is the progress right now. Just started cutting around here and stuff. Okay, so that's how much we have of it left still. Started cutting the floor. Okay, back right here. Doing oil change on the Honda Odyssey. Right here. Just put a new battery in there. So that's done. And we'll be soon checking for AC leaks because uh, last year it was a uh, refill, but it's blowing hot air again. So this is the oil right here for it. Filter. Drain plug. Okay. okay. I'm gonna move this coolant reservoir. Simply comes out like that. Put it to the side. It's power steering reservoir. Let's see. It's gonna come up like so. I probably have to move it a little bit. Yeah, oil is coming out. Nice. Yeah. Which one? The drain plug? Yeah, it looks good. Damn, wrong size. Shit. Yeah, almost like rounded it off. Shit. Here, take this. Wang, gonna move it. 
out. What about it? Yeah, you think so? Do you know anything about it? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. Who did the control arm? Yeah. Okay, guys. So, moving that bolt right there and this bolt, and then uh, the alternator will be ready to come out. I already disconnected the positive cable out of it, but there's still the electrical connector. But I wasn't able to take it off, so I'll take it off on the side. Basically, remove it. Okay, guys. So, this is what it took to remove this alternator out of here. So. All of these brackets, power steering had to come off like that. This is the reservoir. And then uh, the belt had to come off, of course. And then uh, this is the line that I pinched off for the power steering. Yeah, so. And now, this is the old one. And putting the new one on. Okay, here's the new one. Ready to put it in. So, trying to make sure clears everything. There you go. Now, I'm gonna leave it here because I have to install this bracket again back. It's the one that holds the other bolt of the alternator. So it goes right here. Pretty much, it's a 10 millimeter. Okay. So it's almost in basically. Just gotta tighten those two bolts. Okay, guys. So. Putting these uh, wires back in and to their house, original place, whatever. Those here. Okay, I'm gonna quickly plug in this green green connector here. Okay. Put the belt on and all that stuff. So now I'm just gonna. There's that nut right there. Uh, it, I'm gonna tighten it. Let's see if I can. Right there. Okay, just tightening up some retainers here. We'll be ready to start this thing. Lost a little bit of power steering, but that's okay. You can just top it off. Not too much. I have to put that clamp back to place. Right there, it's in place now. Yeah, this is our almost done uh, planned project car, but turned out it's not a project car anymore. So it's basically a part out car. Started to cut this thing. Yeah, if you haven't seen the videos, check them out. I have a lot of videos on this car. So yeah, anyways. So this thing is almost done. Right here. I start it up and check how she runs. So I'm gonna just drop it down now. This is the wheel that was reconditioned basically. It used to look so yellow. 
So if you haven't seen the video, I'll leave the link in the description. How I restored this uh, headlight. Okay. So. Yeah, so this uh, van received a lot of work. I've done uh, the rear drum brakes on this thing like um, last year. And then uh, a lot of other stuff was done to this thing. Basically, and I'll just put a new alternator in it, new battery. Yeah, so. Okay, let's not forget this. Right there. Oh my god, it's sinking. What? The jack. It's not lifting uh, enough or what? Oh, because you have to turn the handle even more because it's you didn't turn it all the way. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a. Like all the way tight, right? Yeah, and then see, no, yeah, yeah, that's good. And then see if it oh, holds. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, stop for a second. Mm -hmm. What's down? Okay, again? it's going down, so you have to work with it. You have to find the thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, now it should be all right. Okay, let's try it now. Loose. Oh, it there we loose. go. That's it. Okay. Okay, guys, so. I'm gonna drop this van right now. I'm gonna start it up and see if everything is okay and stuff. Okay, so this car is gonna be gone soon basically. We're just cutting the whole thing. So the the front end is gonna be gone soon, so there's gonna be more space in there. Start the car? Oh uh, yeah, you can go ahead and basically start the car and see if everything is okay. Even yeah. So basically, right now turn the ignition on and steer the wheels a little bit back and forth. I know it's going to be difficult, but try to do that. Okay, so it's going to start it up now. I have to put the battery cable on. Okay, so that's the power thing making a noise now. Uh, yeah, just uh, keep it running for a little bit. It has to bleed. There's gonna be air in the system now. Okay, stop it. Yeah, just shut it off. Hey, how you doing? Okay, can you guys, so as you saw, we started the car. We're now checking the engine oil level. So basically, you could probably hear how the power steering was whining because I removed the return hose out of the res reservoir to make some room to remove the uh, alternator and basically right now I just have to top it off and uh, what else uh, yeah just uh, drive it turn the wheel more and uh, the noise basically should go away so hoping for that okay. Other than that, there's no leads, there's no issues, no uh, any lights on the dash. Alrighty. Some more? Yeah, yeah, more. There's more. Has to be at the second dot. Yay, fresh oil. You She's gonna Lucas. be happy. Yeah. You put Lucas first. Yeah. Okay, check it now. Might be too much. Oh, yeah, there you go. Right. Stopped at the right time. <laughs> How's that well filter? Looking good. New. Cool. Okay, that's gonna be time to clean up. Oh, this is what I got here. So it's pretty dark now, but I have the ultraviolet uh, light. I'm gonna show him looking for AC leaks. So there's nothing leaking up here. And then basically, here's what I found. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the camera, probably not. Maybe, kinda. Let's see. 
I'm like trying. Yeah. Trying to focus you. But as you can probably see, there's green stuff right there. So, that line is no good. Let's see if I can. Maybe I can somehow show you from this angle. Maybe. Let's see. I'm sorry, it's focusing really bad. There's greenish stuff right there. So, yeah. Take the light, show you this. That's the line right there. And you can basically see the wetness on it. Okay. So, it's this basically line right here. So this line goes from the compressor to the condenser. So, I'll be changing that. And here's the new alternator and stuff. Power sink fluid is topped off. Okay. We're just drinking. What are we drinking, everyone? Wine cooler. Yeah. No, vodka. <laughs> Look at this. Good stuff. Okay, so that's probably gonna be it for today. It's getting really late. And we already made another list for this van. It needs a, uh, um, you know, AC line and uh, it needs a, um, a little bit of other stuff, you know, like we're gonna install the tow hitch on that, and needs the hood latch, and then uh, we're gonna change the coolant on that thing, just change the spark plugs and stuff like that, you know, and uh, just do some other stuff. And uh, this van will be ready to go basically, but as you can see, it's also like kind of like a project van, so you know, it's gonna be really fun to work on it. So stay tuned, there's gonna be more videos, so yeah, and then. Uh, at the end, you know, probably gonna paint this bumper and stuff, you know, and uh, do some other stuff to it. So, that's it basically for today, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.